Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've done any videos, been out on my own. Um, I have done a few projects, um, but they're not for later on in the year. So they're not ready to go out just yet. So it's been a while, it's been about four or five weeks that I've managed, to, uh, that I've not done anything um, with my photography. So it'd be good to get out today. I've got a few hours um, on my own today so I can get out. Um, I'm not really planning on doing anything today. Um, as you can see, I'm in the woods and it's, it's quite light on there, but it's normally pitch black. So I'm just gonna walk around and see what I can find and see if I can find any competitions. But I'm actually off to the other side of the woods today, out on the fields and see what I can find. And then I'll get back to you. Like I just said, um, I'm not out to do any woodland photography. I mean, this place is absolutely beautiful when the bluebells are out. Like I said in one of my last videos, that um, with all the canopy full open now, um, it's quite dark. We've just had a lot of rain, so I think it's quite dull at the moment. But I'm off out um, to the other side, to the fields, across through these woods, and hopefully I can find something worth photographing. Like I said, I'm just out and about, no planning, just out with my camera and to see what, I can, see what I can find. Cool, I'm just thinking as I'm walking around that everything looks so different in these woods. I mean, it's like we're in June now, um, middle of June, and it's quite gloomy, quite dark in here. I know my camera is making it a little bit lighter than what it actually is, um, but really I'm looking around there's no compositions at all I can find in here. I'm not really coming in the woods to look today, but I will keep looking around. Um, I'm hoping to find something. I know there's a rickety tree that I would like to try and photograph, um, but that's in another part of um, um, the other side of the woods. So I might have a look at that and see if that's any good. Um, then I'll go out to some open fields and see what I can find there. Hopefully I can find some nice different colours to photograph. Um, when I do, when I'm all set up, I'll come back to you. Right, I've been walking around for about half an hour now. Um, still in these woods. And um, I don't know whether it's myself getting a little bit more picky with my compositions. And I'm really picky now what I want to take photo photos of. Um, but, God, I'm knackered. Oh. Um, anyway, it's all good for me, I suppose, walking around, keeping myself fit. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep walking around, see what I can find. But as you can see, if I to spin you around, there's nothing really... Um, it's all much the same at the moment. And it's quite um, damp in here as well, and it's really cold to be quite honest for June. Um, but again, I'm going to keep walking around, and I will get back to you. Right, um, I've just walked past this tree. Let me just show you here. This tree here, as you can see. I took this photo on my very first outing when I started video vlogging uh, my photography. But it looks so different to what it was back in um, February. I think it was when I first came out and took the picture. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna bother taking a picture of that now, but I just, just, just let you know, it just looked a little bit different. Um, I'll put the picture up there if I can find it. Um, Cause I'm really bad at saving my pictures. I tend to put them up and then I delete my photos, which is really bad of me. I've stopped doing that now, but I might not have that one on file anymore. But if I do, I will show you it anyway. Um, I'm still look around and when I do, I'll get set up and I'll get back to you. Right, I think I found my first composition. Um, it's this tree here. I've not photographed this tree before, um, but I'm going to set up. Once I set up, I will get back to you. Right, I found the composition that I want. Um, I've got the camera set at um, portrait mode, um, so I can get it all in. Um, <clears throat> my camera's my camera's on around about 30 mil, um, looking straight at the tree. Like I said, if I can turn you around a bit, that is. I don't know if you can see it there. There is the tree there, just there. Um, well, my camera's set out on ISO 100, of course. Um, shutter speed is on 1 160th of a second, and I'm on F8. Um, I'm going to take a couple of shots of this 
timer, two seconds of course. So I don't get no camera shake. Um, I'm gonna take a few more, play around in the compositions. Um, as I say, I've got a little form bush in front of me, or whatever it's called, and the tree in front of me as well. So I'm gonna carry on taking these. And I'll see how they come out. And once they're done, I'll show you them once now. Okay, well, I'll show you that one now. That's the one I've just taken in portrait mode. I've just spun my camera to landscape mode. I thought, um, same steel set, same um, settings what I had before. Um, I quite like this composition, a little bit better. And um, you can tell me what you think. So I've taken a few shots. I'm going to carry on taking a few and um, you can actually tell me which one you prefer, portrait or land mode, um, or landscape mode, that'd be good. Okay, I'll set up my next composition. It's it's a tree in front of me again, a tree. I do like taking pictures of trees. Um, it's quite quite different um, shape to the others. Um, camera set at f11, ISO 100. I'm on 35 millimeters, and my shutter speed is two seconds. It's quite dark in here, so it wants that bit of a long exposure, just so it can capture more light, hopefully make the photo a little bit brighter than what it is now. I'm going to carry on taking these. Once it's done, I'll show you. Right, again, I've taken this photo, both on landscape and portrait. If I can spin you around. There's a tree that I'm trying to photograph. Um, I think I think the portrait mode is a lot better. Um, the landscape mode, I think it's too busy. Too much trees on there, too much greenery as well on the right hand side of this frame. But like I say, I'll put both of them up and then again, it's up to you if you want to tell me what one you prefer, but let's see how it goes. And I will show you them once now. composition it's a oak tree um, I've taken a picture of this before I thought I walked past it I thought I'd take another one the last time I took a picture of this was um, in the middle of the winter no leaves I thought it'd be nice um, to take another photo of it with um, with all the leaves on if I can just spin you around as you can see it's that tree there just here so let's just put this back down so you can see me without making you feel too sick again i've already got the composition set up on my camera um i'm set at 35 mil iso 100 f11 and my, com my, my shutter speed is 1 of a second two second timer i'm going to take a few of these and hopefully they'll all come out quite nicely and then what i do once i've done that i will show you these pictures now uh, I don't know if you can see through this at the moment. I've seen a nice composition up the top there. It's a row of trees and they've got different sorts of colours going through it. It looks quite nice. So what I'm going to do, 
finish shooting this one and then I'm going to take a walk up there see what I can find definitely take a picture of that row of trees with the different colors once I'm set up I will get back to you on that one I'm all set up for my next shot I've actually got the wide angle on um, I've had to stick my wide angle on lens on just to get it all in um, I don't even know where I've got it set up let me just look I'm on 18 millimeter. I know the ISO is 100. I put it at f14, and the shutter speed is um, one tenth of a second. Um, I had to muck around this composition for a little while. As you can see, these are the three trees. There's one there, one there, and one there. And the actual colours look absolutely stunning. Um, I don't know whether I can bring that out. They're quite nice. Different shades of green going through, and you've got this dark purple trees I don't even know what they're called but it does look nice it makes a nice composition you've got a little bit of foreground with the ploughed field and then goes into the woods I'm going to carry on taking a few of these and hopefully they'll come out okay the exposure's um, fine at the moment I'm going to just bring the exposure down a little bit to 1 15th of a second I'm going to keep playing around with the settings um, see what I can find if I can find any good compositions on this thing I may move up a little bit and try and get it at an angle I'm going to carry on taking these and then once I've taken these hopefully I can show you it then and I'll make sure and tell me what you think right what I've done with this composition I've moved up a little bit and tried to frame one of the, the purplish trees and use the green trees either side as a frame. Um, I quite like this one. I think it's a lot better than trying to get everything in, which is to me might seem a little bit too busy. But again, I've swapped the lens over. I've gone to a 30, about 34 millimeters. I'm on F11, one sixth of a second, um, ISO 100, of course, two second timer. I'm going to keep taking a few of these photos and I'm going to keep taking a few of these and hopefully I can get a nice competition out of this I will call this my last one um, I've been out and about now for a good couple of hours um, <clears throat> I need to get back and have something to eat plus as, plus as well my wife I think I've gone missing uh, I did tell her I won't be too long and I've got about another hour walk back well, but what I'm going to do I'm going to pack all my equipment away just handheld my camera I'm going to stick the long lens on and see if I can get a few photos on the way back and and i'll show you them of course at the end of this video again thanks for watching please like please subscribe i can really do with some support you know so more subscribers it make me feel better um to get out and about more so thanks again thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next video Bye bye